While we are currently focused on Code and Ida's invasion, someone is hiding something from us. K has been manipulating us for years. When some of us have tried to expose him, he drops amazing chapters and pulled off some of the craziest plot twists to lure our attention out of the real problem and true mystery. You see, both you and I hate secrets being held and hid away from us. But this is what he has been doing. This is what Kijimoto has been doing for years. You see, there's one thing that makes Naruto one of the greatest anime alive. That is their villains. The villains in Naruto have always been the best out of any villains out there. Not only from their amazing entries, but most importantly from their amazing backstories. Pain, Madara, and Obito are easy examples of this, and there are many other characters that can easily be brought up in this conversation. However, one group of people, one group of villains do not conform to this format. You see, these villains have had amazing entrances, amazing abilities, and fights. But there is one thing they lack. They lack true purpose. And to be more specific, they lack a solid background. Through my words, many of us have been enlightened. And I realized that I was talking about the Uzusukis. From Momoshiki, Ishiki, and Kaguya, one of the things we all ask each other is why? Why are they fighting? What is their purpose? Some new animes fan may say, oh, they're just fighting for power. They're just fighting to be the strongest person in the world. But us true Naruto fans know that this is false. We know that there's a deeper purpose, a deeper goal that they're trying to achieve. To understand their purpose and goals, we have to divide the Ozusukis into two categories, the revolutionaries and the conquerors. So it has been made clear to us that there seems to be some sort of unrest in the Otsutsuki clan. This unrest has led to many characters like Kaguya and Tenori to rebel. Both these characters hate the Otsutsuki clan and both had tried to come up with ways to destroy it or at least protect themselves from the clan. However, they share one similarity that most of us have not noticed. When Kaguya first arrived to Earth, she wanted to save and protect humanity However, after eating the chakra fruits and having two sons, she soon realized that she had committed a very big mistake, which led to her death. The truth is, as an Otsutsuki, she was not supposed to have children with a human, because her offspring could now possess chakra, and she would have created impure or hybrid Otsutsukis, just like Boruto and Kawaki. When she tried to fix her mistake by killing her children to prevent chakra from spreading, she was unfortunately sealed away. As you can start to tell, chakra the force that brings and binds people together will eventually lead to the destruction of planet Earth. To prevent this from happening and having other Otsutsukis come to Earth, Tenori was introduced to the plot, and his goal was to get rid of all chakra. You see, Otsutsukis go around from planet to planet in search of chakra fruits. When the chakra fruit is made, it sucks the life force out of the planet. But that only occurs if the Otsutsuki leaves the planet. But since Kage did not leave Earth, the chakra which was supposed to be for her and the Otsutsukis was passed on to her offspring, making Earth a threat as chakra could still be extracted from the planet. Now, there is a series of questions that still need to be answered. Like, what are the Otsutsukis? What are their true purpose? Are they the strongest race out there? These are the types of questions that I've been thinking about lately as the answer to these questions are quite scarce and requires a lot of effort and information to find it. However, Tonori throughout the series has always given us a lot of information about the Ujisukis and the Jogan. Even though his way of talking is quite methodic and old, understanding what he is saying can prove to be quite useful. In the past, Tonori leaked a lot of information about the Jogan and the Ujisukis. When Tonori refers to the Otsutsukis, he calls them harvesters, saying that after all, they are like harvesters, they bring back the fruits. These words have led some people to develop some interesting theories about the true purpose and role of the Otsutsukis. To understand this, we have to go back into our own history, in a period of time known as the Middle Ages. During this time in Europe, there are people who were known as serfs, who had similar jobs to the Otsutsukis which was to harvest. The reason why understanding these people is important is because these people were harvesters who did not own their own land. 
so they would work just to bring back their harvest to the landowners. This phrase might remind you of what Tenori said about the Otsusukis. Listen again. They are like harvesters. They bring back the fruit. The way Tenori talks about the Otsusukis is quite similar to a class in the Middle Ages known as the serfs. So let's go back to one of the questions I asked before. Why are the Otsusukis looking for the chakra fruit? Through Tenori's words, we understand that the Otsusukis are not looking for world domination or being the strongest characters on the planet. They are simply slaves who were forced to harvest chakra fruit for the people who own them or control them. Now immediately, many of you guys are asking who are the Otsusukis working for? This has also already been given to us by Tenori. When Tenori talks about harvesters, which we later understood to be Momoshiki, Kinshiki, and Ishiki, he simply calls them harvesters as they were part of the same class as he was. However, Tenori also talked about gods, saying that soon the gods will descend on this land. First of all, these gods are not Momoshiki and the others who came after him. Because Tenori would now refer to people of his own race and clan as gods. This means that he has to be talking about a bigger, a stronger group of Otsusukis which he is not truly a part of. Now you guys may say that Momoshiki, Ishiki and other Otsusukis have eaten the chakra fruit. How will they be able to give it to the landowners? This is simple. And this has already been demonstrated to us using Kinshiki, who was turned into a chakra fruit and ate by Momoshiki. Remember, in the Middle Ages, the serfs were at the bottom of the class, just like these groups of Otsusukis appear to be. This means that there is a higher class of Otsusukis in the clan which are way stronger than Kaguya and Momoshiki. And this is the group of people, the gods that Tenori was talking about when he said that the gods will soon descend on this land. And when these gods come back, it will be the end of the shinobi world as we know it. They will first deal and fix the mistakes left by Momoshiki and Ishiki by killing Boruto and Kawaki. Then they will deal with the rest of the people on earth and destroy earth altogether. This explains why we see a destroyed leaf village and this will probably be the time where we will see a lot of characters in both Naruto and Boruto die. Remember, this is Boruto's fate as he will lose everything because of his blue eyes. However, Tonori did not leave us with sorrow and doom. He left us with hope as Boruto has the Jogan and has now fully become an Otsutsuki. Will he now be able to use Otsutsuki abilities like the Renegon? Watch this video to find out what new abilities Boruto may be able to acquire.